Okay, so I'm joining Lost in the Bookcase for a challenge. It's a first line challenge. Basically, what's going to happen is I'm going to walk into a bookstore and I'm going to find myself a book based on the first line. The rules are I have to have money, so it has to be an actual purchase. It can't be something I've read. I can't read the back of the book or the summary. I have to only read the first line and buy the book and then figure out whether or not I made a good decision or not. I'm not allowed to Google the book or anything except to see if it's part of a series. So I'll be checking the front cover to see if it's part of a series. But other than that, blind. I'm going in blind. And it has to be done with cash. So I accept the challenge. I will see you soon. get started. So I have to keep it under nine bucks and I have to get from this section and it can't be something I know. So I'm going to start. <laughs> okay, this this looks hilarious. I'm I'm gonna grab this one. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. A few moments later. Okay, so what I did is I went into my local bookstore and I found the Midnight Clan Repo Man. I have never read anything by W. Bruce Cameron. I have no idea what this is gonna be like. I have not read the synopsis. It says another laugh out loud, keep you up late, irresistible read. Your time's the best-selling partner, okay? So the synopsis says, Rudy McCann, former college football star, has experienced a seismic drop in popularity. He is now a full-time repo man in Kalkaska, <laughs> Michigan, and a part-time bouncer at his sister's bar. His best friend is a low-energy basset hound named Jake, with whom he shares a simple life of stealing cars. Simple, that is, until Rudy starts hearing a voice in his head. The voice introduces himself as Alan Lautner, a dead real estate agent. Rudy isn't sure if Alan is real or not. To complicate matters, it turns out that Katie, the girl Rudy has fallen for, is Katie Lautner, Alan's daughter. When Alan demands Rudy find his murderers, Rudy decides, that's Ruddy actually, decides the voice in his head seeking vengeance is best ignored. He figures his efforts would be better spent helping his sister keep the bar float and wrapping up a particularly trying repo job. But it's hard to avoid the voice in his head and soon Rudy, I'm smelling on here, there's typos on this, you gotta see this, I'll take a picture of it. <laughs> He's not only trying to figure out what happened to Alan, but avoid the same fate for himself. With a sweet romance, a murder mystery, and a lazy but loyal dog, and a town full of cabin fever characters you can't help but love, Bruce Camion's Midnight Plan of the Repo Man is yet another laugh out loud, keep you up late, here's this little read. So, the first couple lines look pretty funny, and I got myself a bookmark, and I'm ready to go. And I'll let you know how it goes soon. Much, much, much later. All right. Oh, I forgot I turned it on. <laughs> TBR pile. Kind of a mess. That That's actually bookshelves. It's just some of the stuff's controversial. So, put the challenge. Trying to finish up. Today, we'll be done. Uh, 60 pages in. Yes. If you can grab this, yes. Funny. So this is kind of where I'll be vlogging a lot. Um, 
this is without the lights. The, the new stand's being used, but I'll talk about that once I have the phone charged and, and in the next video. So, this video will probably precede me talking about the TPR file from hell and the um, transmission and all that, all that stuff and what's going to be going on in the next couple days. So, if you'll forgive me, I want to go finish my book and then go back to finishing facing the wrong direction, of course. The other book that I'm kind of in the middle of, it's Cat. So, see you soon. And away the next day. Alright, I don't know how well this is going to work. The lighting isn't on yet, but there will be lighting on the next video. So this is the finale of the challenge video. What the challenge was, as I said, is to walk into a bookstore with a limited amount of cash and buy a book by its first line. I'm sorry about the lighting here. I probably look like Chez Ragul or something. Uh, my choice was I would normally never buy. For one thing, I'm not a dog person. It's a Midnight Planet of the Repo Man. And it was a really cheap one by W. Bruce Cameron. And the cat is trying to knock down the phone. Please, someone grab the cat. Thank you. Uh, anyway, you can see the ironing board on the edge there. And the TBR pile behind my head. So, yeah, that's my TBR pile. But just the one behind my head sticking up, that's non-fiction. Including English grammar and history, lost books of the Bible, all kinds of stuff. So, I am so beeping glad I grabbed this. This turned out to be amazing, and I'm going to be reading more by Mr. Cameron. Also, I'm originally from Michigan, and familiar with the part of Michigan he's talking about, although I'm from the Detroit area. So, I am more than a little pleased. Now, I will be posting a kind of weird rating video, and then I will do the rating for this. So, um, other people, you know, they just review books. I, I, I'm an idiot, so I rate books. But I don't like most people's rating system, so I came up with my own weirdo one. By now, you should expect weird from me. So, thank you for watching. I hope that you'll check out Mr. Cameron's book. And I hope that you will give the challenge a shot. And let me know if you enjoyed it. Thanks.